Engineering is the art of applying science for the benefit of mankind. Until the end or the 1600s man had to use the energy of his muscles, those of his slaves, of his horses and of flowing water and of the blowing wind to do useful work for him. Thomas Savory was an English inventor and engineer, born at Shilston, England. He invented the first commercially used steam-powered device, a steam pump which is often referred to as an engine, although it is not technically an engine. Savory's steam pump was a revolutionary method of pumping water, which solved the problem of mine drainage and made widespread public water supply practicable. Thomas Newcomen was an English inventor who created the atmospheric engine, the first practical fuel-burning engine in 1712. Newcomen built a better engine, open at the top and with a moving piston. James Watt was a Scottish inventor, mechanical engineer, and chemist who improved on Thomas Newcomen's 1712 Newcomen steam engine with his Watt steam engine in 1776 which was fundamental to the changes brought by the Industrial Revolution in both his native Great Britain and the rest of the world. In 1698 Thomas Slavery, for the first time in man's history, was able to get useful work from the flow of heat from steam to cold water. His invention was a great boon to the mining industry and was used to pump water up and out of coal mines. The reason was that water often leaked into unflooded coal mines and either had to be removed by a bucket brigade or else the mines had to be abandoned, which was a disastrous situation. His device was crude and it had no moving parts. Here is how it worked this was called the steam pumping engine. Slavery also coined the term horsepower HP, Newcomen built a better engine, open at the top and with a moving piston, as shown in this video. By 1769 the Newcomen engine ran at 5 strokes per minute and produced 5 HP of work. All you had to do was was to turn the valves on and off. Humphrey Potter, a lazy engine boy used strings and levers to operate the valves. He was fired for sleeping at his job, but his invention doubled the engine speed to 10 strokes per minute. James Watt made many more improvements. He 1. Closed the top of the cylinders. 2. Introduced steam at both ends of the cylinder. 3. Did not use cold water but discarded the waste steam, thus giving us the modern steam engine. Today our modern societies run on this concept of heat flow from a high temperature, for example burning gasoline, to low temperature, exhaust, to produce work. Think of it, what would life be like without automobiles, coal-fired electric power plants, jet planes, and your power lawn mowers? They all operate on the principle which followed the dream of Thomas Slavery.